Let's talk about it. Good news, you guys. It's time for another podcast. It's Mr. Creighton. And Mrs. Klein. And we're here with your first podcast for our Islamic Empires unit. Um, so we're going to be starting off in lesson 10. And the lesson is learning about world religions, Islam. You can find this on page 127. And we're only going through sections 1 through 7. So page 127 to 134. All right, you guys, there is a guiding question, like always, and this time around it is, how do the beliefs and practices of Islam shape Muslims' lives? And then there are some vocabulary words that you need to make sure that you are familiar with. They are the five pillars of Islam, mosque, Quran, a Ramadan, and Sunnah. All right, guys, so starting with the introduction, this lesson explores the basic beliefs and practices of Islam, the religion founded by the Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century. Like both Christianity and Juda uh, Judaism, Islam has a holy book that follows Muslim that followers use in their practice. The holy book of Islam is called the Quran. Muslims rely on the Quran and the Sunnah, the example of Muhammad, for guidance in their religious belief. Central to Muslim practice are the five pillars of Islam: declaration of faith, prayer, charity, fasting, and making a pilgrimage to Mecca. Both the Quran and the Sunnah lay out the foundations for these practices. This lesson will help you understand how the beliefs and practices of Islam shape the daily lives of Muslims across the world. All right, you guys, we're going to move on to um, section one, which has got some background information in it about Islam. Since the time of Muhammad, Islam has had an impact on world history. Islam is the world's second largest religion after Christianity. Most people in the Middle East and North Africa are Muslim but Muslims live in nearly every country of the world. Islam is also one of the fastest growing religions in the United States. Islam, Juda Judaism, and Christianity have much in common. For instance, members of all three faiths are monotheists. 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 There we go. <laughs> I can say monotheistic, I just can't say that there word. They believe in one God and trace the origins to Abram, Abraham. Muslims consider Jews and Christians to be people of the book. Muslims believe that God revealed messages to Moses, Jesus, and others were compiled um, into holy books just as the Quran came from God to Muhammad. For Muslims, however, the Quran contains God's final revelations to humanity. All right, moving on to the second section, which is all about the Quran and the Sunnah. Two foundations of Islam are the Quran and the Sunnah. According to Muslim teachings, God describes his laws and moral teachings or the straight path through the Quran. Regarded as the direct word of God, the book holds a central position for Muslims everywhere and even inspires Muslim art, poetry, and literature. The Sunnah, which means practice, is the example of, that Muhammad set for Muslims during his lifetime. What Muhammad did or said in certain situations has set a precedent or guideline for all Muslims. For Muslims, the Sunnah is second only to the Quran in religious authority. The most basic acts of worship for Muslims are called the five pillars of Islam. The Quran provides general commands to perform these five duties, where the Sunnah explains how to perform them based on Muhammad's examples. All right, so now you guys, we're going to start talking about the different pillars of Islam. The first pillar is called Shahada. The first pillar of Islam is Shahada, the profession or declaration of faith. The first part of the Shahada affirms monotheism. There is no God but God. The second part of the Shahada identifies Muhammad as God's messenger, and Muhammad is the messenger of God. The meaning of Shahada is that people not only believe in God, but also pledge their submission to him. Muslims also believe in the idea of an unseen world of angels and other beings. Muslims also believe that all souls will face a day of judgment. On that day, God will weigh each person's actions. Those who have believed in God and lived according to his rules will be rewarded with paradise. All right, you guys, the second pillar of Islam is um, Salat, which means a daily ritual prayer. Throughout Muslim communities, people are called to prayer five times a day at dawn, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset, and after nightfall. Before praying, Muslims must perform ritual washings. The worshippers face the Kala, the direction of the Kaaba, which is marked by a niche in a wall. While praying at a mosque is preferable, Muslims may worship anywhere. Unlike Christians and Jews, Muslims do not observe a Sabbath or day of rest. On Fridays, however, Muslims gather at a mosque for midday con uh, congregational prayer. All right, moving on, you guys, to the third pillar, which is known as zakat. All right, all right the third pillar of Islam is zakat, or charity. 
The Quran says that wealthy people should share their riches with the less fortunate, a practice that remains a basic part of Islam. The word zakat means purification. According to the teachings of Islam, Muslims must share about 1 40th, which is 2.5% of their surplus wealth each year with their poorer neighbors. Zakat helps provide for many needs. Zakat also helps other good causes that serve Muslim that serve the Muslim community. Zakat is similar to charitable giving in other religions. All right, looking at the fourth pillar, CM. The fourth pillar of Islam is CM or fasting, which is going without food. The Quran instructs Muslims to fast for an entire month during Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. According to Islamic teachings, Ramadan was the month when God first revealed his message to Muhammad. During the daylight hours of each day during the month of Ramadan, Muslims do not eat any food or drink any liquid, including water. At, at, sorry. At sunset, Muslims then break their fast, which uh, often with dates, as Muhammad usually did, and other food and beverages. They then perform the sunset prayer. The holy month of Ramadan encourages generosity, equality, and charity within the Muslim community. A celebration called Eid al-Fitr takes place when Ramadan ends. All right, moving on, you guys, to the fifth pillar. Okay, all right, remember there's five pillars of Islam. This is the fifth and final, which is called the Hajj. The fifth pillar of Islam is Hajj, the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. All adult Muslims who are financially and physically able to make the journey are expected to perform the Hajj at least once during their lifetime. In Mecca, pilgrims follow what Muslims believe are the footsteps of Abraham and Muhammad, and um, to, just so that they can grow closer to God. Before leaving Mecca, each pilgrim circles the Kaaba seven more times. Muslims around the world celebrate this farewell day as Eid al-Adha. Okay, you guys, in this lesson, you learned about the basic beliefs and practices of Islam, one of the world's major religions. Islam has, had, has more followers than any faith except for Christianity. All right, some background on Islam. Islam, Judaism, and Christianity share many similarities. People of these faiths believe in one God and have holy books. Muslims accept the Jewish and Christian scriptures as earlier re uh, revelations by God. All right, the Quran and Sunnah. The Quran is the main Muslim scripture. It contains God's final messages to humanity and guides Muslims on how to live their lives. Additional guidance comes from the Sunnah, or the practice, the example of Muhammad. The Hadith, which is a tradition, provides a written record of sayings and deeds of the Prophet. All right, and finally, the five pillars of Islam. Islam is a way of life as well as a set of beliefs. Muslims follow the five pillars of Islam. The five pillars are the, jihad, the Shahada, Declaration of Faith, Salat, Daily Worship, Zakat, Charity, Siam, Fasting, and Hajj, which is the pilgrimage to Mecca. All right, you guys, remember now there was that guiding question that you should be able to address, which had to do with how do uh, the beliefs and practices of Islam help shape Muslim lives? And then a quick review of the vocabulary words, the five pillars of Islam, mosque, Quran, Ramadan, and Sunnah. All right, you guys, best wishes. Barf.